So the plan for today is to do a winch launch to approximately 1500 feet um, above the airfield height and we'll be using a freeware program called WinchX by Peter Lurkins and I'll be showing you a bit later on how to configure that in case you, you, you haven't used it before. Uh, once once we release, uh, we'll do basically a, a left-hand circuit pattern, a standard left-hand circuit pattern, um, and then we'll land back uh, uh, on the same runway where we we uh, launched from. And so it's going to be yeah quite a, quite a short flight, um, but. Um, but it'll show you the way the way I approach this this sort of thing, and um, and I do lots of these actually <laughs> to try and um, you know keep my practice in. For those pilots that um, are new to virtual gliding um, uh, or, or haven't used WinchX before, I just I just want to show you how I configure it. Note that all the um, uh, values here are in metric, regardless of what you're using in the simulator. Um, now I've set the cable length at 1500 metres because I know from experience that that will comfortably uh, get me to a launch height of uh, 1500 uh, feet, and that, that's feet above the airfield. Um, the speed I've set at 120 kilometres an hour and I find that at that speed um, I seem to have uh, better control of the glider during the launch phase. It's just a bit easier for me to keep the, the wings level, although that can still sometimes have difficulty <laughs> even then. Um, with the, uh, the limiter or the, the weak link, I, I use the blue link, uh, which is the, the minimum uh, force link. Um, I mean, this is a 15 meter glider, single seater. Um, so, yeah, it seems to work fine. Um, you'd still, you still have to be careful uh, when, you, when you're flying the launch phase that um, yeah, you don't uh, uh, make gross um, you know, changes in direction or anything like that. Um, or pull back too hard on the stick um, because it will um, it will uh, break the cable or break the link. Now WinchX has a built-in failure rate. Um, it's random, so you, it will from time to time throw a, a, a cable break at you. So you've got to be prepared for that, um, just as you would in the real world. I should mention that um, this is all about virtual gliding. Um, nothing I'm saying here or any advice I'm giving necessarily applies to the real world and I'm not an expert in the real world by any means. In fact, I've never flown a, a glider on a winch launch myself, although I have been a passenger at times on winch launches. Um, but even so, I, I definitely am not an expert. Um, so this, this is just how I do it in the simulator. So let's get on board and, uh, and get this thing in the air. First of all, I'll minimize winch X. Note, I'm not closing it, I'm minimizing it. So I'm going to it. Just make sure all those controls one more time are working there. And uh, up inside. Close up. Okay, we will turn on the C4, even though we don't really need it today. Um, just checking a few settings here. Not that I guess, as I said, I don't really need them today, but just like to be consistent. Oh, the 
stone, the um, the altimeters set for the airfield uh, height here, just over 700 feet. Before we um, yeah, it's 11 knots um, in the southeast, so roughly it's expected. Um, I think that's all I have to do. I'm not going to leave the GPS on. We don't need. Oh, one important thing here. I need to just set my track IR on a track hat. Uh, I, I have to get rid of the water ballast. Well, I don't have to, but it would be advisable. Um, we're not doing competition flying today. We don't need the water ballast. And you have to remove it or dump it before you land anyway. So, so let's get rid of it now. Uh, it will take a little while to drain out. But, uh, by the time we launch, it should be, good. It should be empty. So I've assigned a button on my uh, joystick to uh, initiate a winch launch. Uh, I believe it's the, um, the cable release command in FSX, the tow rope release or whatever it's called. Um, so you, um, if you're not already uh, in, the, in a winch launch phase, if you hit the tow rope release, it will initiate the winch launch and uh, the same button will um, release the cable at the top of the launch phase. So let's get that cable on. Cable on, please. Now the ground crew will level up my wings in a minute. Close. Here we go. Now we've got to take up slack. All out. So I'll try and keep my wings level here best I can. It's a bit difficult because I don't have peripheral vision in here for six. Okay, uh, coming up to a thousand feet, 500 to go, roughly. Oh, low cloud, this is a problem. Okay, notice the nose is starting to come down a bit now. Okay, I'll release there and this cloud's a bit of a new, oh, get the speed up, retrim, wheel up. Okay, let's turn away from the cloud. We're going crosswind now. We're turning crosswind, I should say. So I'm going to come to an easterly heading. A little, no, a little bit fast, maybe. Trim down, uh, trim up a little bit. There's our airfield down there. I'm just checking the down angle. It gives me an idea of my relative height and how far I can step out from the airfield. As we approach, um, these sort of clumps of trees will uh, turn to a northerly heading the downwind um, phase of our flight or our second pattern. So airspeed's good at this stage, so I'm happy with that. The down angle to the airfields suggests I'm a little bit high at the moment. Oh no, I've got low cloud again ahead. Um, but 
as we're getting to the end or towards the end of our downward leg. Um, oh, I'm a little bit off course here too. This cloud's throwing me a bit. Um, I'm going to drop the wheels now. Now I don't have... I don't have to worry about um, water ballast because I didn't bring it. I'm going to turn here onto the base leg. So we're coming down, we're about a thousand feet AGL at the moment, which is, which are a bit high, so I'm actually. Going to have to use a fair bit of spoilers as I turn on to final. So I've misjudged this a little bit. I could actually put a the spoilers now. Lose a bit of height. Put them away again. Do my turn on to final. Might have overshot a little bit. Okay, spoilers fully out. So we're too high. Need to speed up a bit. Get back into the alignment with the runway. Okay. Bring the spoilers to about half. A little bit fast. Slow up a bit. Bit more spoilers, I think. Just pull them out a little bit. Whoop! What was that? Okay. In a bit. So I'm just using the spoilers to regulate my approach. Just flare here. Hold off, hold off, hold off. And then I run off the side of the runway, you clear the runway, put the spoilers away so I can get clear. Okay, spoilers on, wheel brake on. Turn that off. Okay, we're down, we're clear of the runway, we're not far from the flight school building. Wasn't the best of approaches, um, I have to say, a um, little bit too much use of uh, spoilers required. Um, I did turn on to base a bit too early, obviously. You know, you know, sort of a rule of thumb I use generally when I'm flying a circuit in a glider is I look for a 30 degrees down angle to the to the airfield. And when I say 30 degrees down, you know, you can't be precise <laughs> about it. I've got no way to easily measure it. It's it's kind of a subjective thing of, of judging that 30 degree down looking angle, and that tells you whether you you. Um, too high or too low and you can adjust that a bit by either stepping out away from the airfield a bit or or turning in if, if you're too low. I hope this video was helpful or entertaining for you and thank you for watching.